Picture two nearly identical website sections. Which one appeals to you more? More importantly, which one do you think your users or clients would prefer? In most cases, the answer would be the second option, the colored one. The only difference, the thoughtful use of color. As it turns out, color plays a crucial role in your website's success. But why? In this video, you will learn how your website may fail due to improper color usage, how to select the perfect color palette for specific projects, and rules for using color palettes to create attractive and harmonious websites, using Tailwind CSS color palette as an example. Research shows that emotional appeals play a vital role in creating memorable online experiences. There are five key principles for creating compelling web design. It's clarity, good layout, strong visual hierarchy, effective use of color, and easy navigation. Moreover, studies confirm that website colors significantly impact the perception of aesthetic appeal. Even more crucial is the harmonious combination of colors. When a website uses harmonious color combinations, it attracts visitors and creates a balanced visual experience. Conversely, when the design lacks harmony, it becomes chaotic and unengaging. Color theory in web UI design consists of three main elements – contrast, complementarity, and vibrancy. Each color evokes specific moods. For example, red triggers alertness, while green promotes calmness. This makes choosing the right color palette crucial for your website. Color palettes come in several types – analogous, complementary, triadic, split complementary, rectangular, square, and monochromatic. We will focus on the monochromatic palette, as it has proven to be simple yet effective and is gaining increasing popularity. A well-designed website color palette should include at least primary or brand color, grayscale, arrow, boning and success indicators, and various shades of each. The primary color sets the overall mood and tone of your website, emphasizing its identity. Gray is the most widely used color, commonly applied to text, foregrounds, backgrounds, and component borders. Arrow, warning and success colors primarily indicate system status, showing errors and confirming successful actions. While gray and indicator colors remain relatively consistent across palettes, varying mainly in shade, the primary color depends entirely on your website's niche, mood and individual characteristics. Research indicates that the effective use of primary color increases brand identity by an average of 68%, a significant metric. When selecting a primary color, remember that each color carries association and triggers specific emotions, which may vary based on the user's psychological, physiological and cultural backgrounds. Blue is considered the most universally appealing color and is commonly used in UI designs. However, using blue may associate your website with major platforms like Meta, Dropbox or LinkedIn. To maintain uniqueness, consider using distinctive shades that aren't already prominent in the market. Now let's examine the most common scenarios for using a color palette in web UI designs and learn how to apply these principles through specific examples. For main text and headlines, Gray 900 is the optimal choice. This high contrast shade draws the user's attention effectively, emphasizing importance and maximizing readability. Secondary text elements such as subheadings should use Gray 600, while tertiary text elements like placeholders work best with Gray 400. This hierarchical approach creates clear visual distinction between different types of text content. View White has proven most effective as a page background in practice. Avoid using gray shades, even light ones, for the main page background. However, gray 50 and gray 100 can be effectively used as background colors for specific sections or components to create visual grouping. This subtle differentiation helps users understand content hierarchy without creating visual fatigue. Let's examine button styling as an example of interactive elements. Primary buttons should use primary 600 at the background color for their default state. Transition into primary 700 and hover. The button text should be white to ensure readability and contrast. Secondary buttons work best with the white background in their default state. Shifting to gray 50 on hover. For these buttons, use gray 900 for the text to maintain readability while differentiating them from primary buttons. Icons shouldn't match the main text color exactly. Gray 700 works best for the default state, with Gray 800 for hover states. This subtle difference helps icons stand out while maintaining visual harmony with the rest of the interface. 
Interface elements that shouldn't draw excessive attention such as borders and dividers are best styled with Cray 200 or Cray 300. These lighter shades provide sufficient contrast to be visible while remaining unobtrusive. For images, apply color filters that complement your Cray tones warm or cool undertones. Additionally, try to incorporate shades of your primary color within images when possible, to enhance site coercion and identity. This creates a more unified visual experience and strengthens your brand presence. Now you understand the crucial role of color in web UI design, including basic color theory concepts, practical color application guidelines, how to create cohesive visually appealing interfaces. By following these straightforward color principles, you can easily create unified and visually pleasing interfaces. That's all for today. I'm planning future videos on typography in responsive design and creating dark themes for websites. Subscribe to stay updated on these upcoming topics. Thanks for watching.